Hey everybody, it's BC here. Welcome to another episode of Station Ears. Uh, I want to thank everybody so much for all the advice and tips that you've been giving in the last couple of episodes. And uh, uh, as you might be able to tell, I have done a little bit of research of my own. I have been browsing the wiki and checking things out and trying to understand a little more of what this game is all about. And I think I've got a little understanding. As you can tell, I've got the oxygen tank set up here so I can fill up my canister because it was out of air. I did try to make a canister, but it would end up being just a regular canister. It wasn't filling up with air. So maybe there's something I gotta do to make an air canister. Maybe it's just painting a white, I don't know. Uh, as you can see, I paint. I know about the mining belts, about having the belt actually on the bar, and it automatically picks up yours. Uh, that I did have to look up on Steam to find out, but I found that one out. I, I did paint them. The blue one's gonna be for the, uh, the ices, the, like, uh, here I got the ice, uh, the volatile, and the oxides. Uh, yes, I have made steel, as you can see by the furnace over here. Uh, what you don't see is the big pile of raging next that I made by mistake <laughs> at the bottom because I didn't know it had to be exact counts. Uh, so, needless to say, I wasted some iron, wasted some copper, but I have gotten quite a bit, and I know what I did wrong with this thing, and I'm gonna figure it out. I don't know if I need the vent or not, but. Uh, I've been told I can use this, well not this, but uh, the other thing I put on the oxygen tank there to actually uh, capture the gases coming off of this when I make steel to actually use as a jetpack fuel. So that's, that'll be interesting. Uh, also too, as far as uh, the machines and data network and all that stuff, I understand it all now. Pretty much anything that's hooked up to the data port here it's hooked up to the computer, as far as I know, it can be operated from this computer. So if I have the, the auto lathe and the electronics printer connected on the actual data itself, it's not actually connected, then I'll be able to control it from here. I haven't done that yet because uh, I haven't had the resources. Uh, I do know about the locker. I have made one over here. Got one of those I know what the container mounts to. That one I did figure out. Uh, again, thank you all so much for the help. Uh, it's an interesting game. Uh, I realize it is actually very, very early access, but uh, it's good to see games like this. It's always, always something to see diff something new. Uh, but yeah, I am just smelting up some gold right now. Uh, what I wanted to do today was, well, we're, first of all, that was my biggest concern was oxygen, and then I remember that I had the tank on the the lander there, and I thought, well, I knew there was container mounts, so I looked and yes, there was a tank mount, and I got that. Uh, one thing I would like to do is sort of get this place sort of walled in, get some sort of airtight place put in. Uh, power too. That's how it was the first thing I was going to do is batteries. Uh, I still have some gold to smelt up. Uh, power's not going to run out too long. I don't want to waste too much coal on this, but uh, yeah, it'll be a little while. I'll bring you back in the morning. Okay, I'm back. The sun's coming up pretty soon here. I decided to put some walls up while I could. Uh, that's all I had the frames for. I'm gonna take these down. I should make them windows. I'm gonna actually have this whole place windowed because I like that. I like to actually see in the earth. Looks pretty good. And from what I've seen in the, the scenario, yes, I have done a little tutorial. Is uh, solar panels will actually work through the glass, so that's good. Uh, that was one of the things I was gonna do today. Uh, is one make some batteries. That's why I was desperate to make the steel, which I have 48 ingots of, uh, which are. Oh, right there, I can't see because my glare, yes, I have steel. Um, I'm gonna make, I have no idea how the batteries work, but I will make two of them just for the sake of it. Uh, make them in this thing here, I probably should move this. Uh, yeah, you know what, I need to make some room here, so let me move the fabricator and the computer out of the way, and I'll bring you back. Actually, what we're gonna do, I'm going to do something smart here. Uh, yes, I have put a stack of basically on everything so it's not spitting one out, out one at a time and I understand how it works to adjust it and all that stuff. I know about the stack sizes. I know everything like uh, uh, walls and glass panels and all that stuff come in stacks of 50. Uh, things like the belts and tools and all that stuff are single stack. Uh, ores are 50, but I, the ingots I know can go up to 500. So. That is something I am aware of, just in case anybody has pointed out. And I'm thinking about this now. How does uh, this conveyor hook up with that conveyor? Kind of interesting. Uh, but yeah, one of the things I was going to do, uh, let's actually see if I 
Oh, actually, I'm smelting some. Uh, what do I have for copper? I have 92, I think. Yes. Uh, uh, I don't want to make it in here because it doesn't stack. I don't want to make it in here because I can't control how much it actually makes. But I want to uh, make heavy cables. Yes, uh, I am aware that of overloads. So I'm going to make sure that uh, that doesn't happen. We'll put that in, turn that on. Oh, no, that's not what I want to do. Uh, it'd be nice if you could actually control how much you can get print in here. Actually, uh, we can. I'm going to go to basic coil here. I'm actually going to test my theory here. Uh, oh, no, I can't make them in here. I gotta go to, oh, I can. Cable coil. Nope, we've got to turn the conveyor on. I can see where the logistics come in handy on this. Oh, yes. Because you can have it so when you turn the machine on that it turns, turns the conveyor on and the stacker on so you don't have anything like that happening. But then it's my fault for having this one conveyor belt there. Yeah, I gotta make one of those too. A couple more of those power cells. Right, I wanna test something here. Do one more. And there we go. I'll go over here and take out the whole bundle. And this is something I also want to try because uh, they were saying you can paint these things and it's actually cheaper to paint them in a stack than buy one at a time. Sure, whatever. I gotta put the paint back anyways. Oh, what do you know you can? Cool. But yes, I'm gonna go heavy cable. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how it's gonna work, but. Uh, I know for a fact that from my power source I'm going to have a heavy cable and it's going to go into an a uh, APC uh, from there branch off I don't know if it should be heavy cable to three more APCs or whatever but I'll figure it out I know you got to have those in the, in the, the way though uh, okay let's get the right tool for the job in this case it's not a <laughs> it is not a pickaxe uh, so I just got to take this one out basically uh, and uh, yeah, I think I mentioned too about uh, scrolling and using F to automatically place items that are in inventory into your open hand or current hand. Oh, uh, hang on, noob moment there. There we go. Oh, you can too. Cool. All right, so I should be able to actually turn this on. Okay, uh, and I like how it shows the recipe too. All right. Let's see how many devices I have here. It's actually showing me both of them. It's not. It is on, is it not? Yeah, it is. Maybe it's only going to work with the fabricator. I'm not too sure. Let's give it a shot here, though. Uh, be nice if the search option in this actually worked cable coil heavy and we'll make I'll make sure we'll make a whole stack now I'll make 25 and uh, like so and it's not actually going to use that machine it has to be in here and it tells me that it's missing gold but it has copper did I not put the second here. Yes, uh, a desperate new moment here. Okay. Let's try this again and turn my light off before I kill my battery. Alright, and put some gold in there. I was just talking about killing my battery. And we have no power. Why do we have no power? Hmm. Yeah, I'm uh, having one of those moments here. I was actually going to color code all of these, but I uh, thought, uh, no, then my backpack's going to be all rainbow like. Okay, I was making heavy cable. And I got to be over here to catch them because I don't have a stack around here. 
Anyway, uh, let me take this and I'll be right back. There's my Regent pile over there. Okay, I'm back. And I'm out of coal again. Uh, I gotta get a battery going and I gotta get some more solar panels going. Uh, something I actually wanna try while I'm waiting for the sun to come up. Now I'm gonna be using heavy cables for the solar panels. Uh, do I have any frames on me? I do. Oh, what do you know? That is a frame, right? It's a wall. Hmm. Yeah, because I want to put a frame down and see if uh, power can go through walls. I'm sure somebody knows the answer, and I'm <laughs> sure someone will give me an answer, but uh, probably would have figured it out by then. Okay, that's what I'm looking for there. Okay. So it's ye old jetpack. And let's do a test for science. No. I do plan on making a lot of these. Oh, I like the striping. Ah, it does go through the wall. Perfect. So that means I can have my solar panels outside and have the power going inside. Okay. Because I did notice when I was messing around with the, the corner blocks. Hang on. Take the jetpack off there. Uh, the, the corner cables that was sort of cut into the corner, so I wanted to see if that would actually work, and it does. Okay, so that is doing that. I gotta get this going. I'm gonna load this up with materials. We're gonna do, it. I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna make a whole bunch of heavy cables while we move some machines around. Actually, we're gonna get the power going, is what we're gonna do. Alright, turn that on, and go in here, and in here I should be able to make the heavy, ca heavy coils. And I should be able to make quite a few of them. I don't want to make that many though. No, just 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 because would it be in here we make the computer? I wanna see if I need a separate computer for this. I could wiki it, but I'm not a hundred percent on the amount of uh, information they provide. I'd have to make a manufacturing keyboard. Uh, okay. Manufacturing motherboard as well. Okay, we'll make one of those. Turn the conveyor on, the stacker, and I'll bring it back when I got it done. Okay, I got it set up. I got the car in there. So let's see if this actually recognizes it. Fabricator control, so it's own fabricator. Alright, next question is we'll work with the console. Again, I have absolutely no idea. I think the consoles do have to be programmed. Let's uh, find out. Don't use those. Don't need them. I like how the stack actually has that power to eject things. Okay, let's grab that. And... Where can I put this? Sure, I'll we'll put it right here. And I don't think this is actually going to work. Uh, let me let me mess around and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Need to see it didn't actually work, or the, this thing didn't work. That's, but I just had to go and uh, mine a little bit of coal to make up for the stuff that I've had to burn and the stuff that I'm gonna have to burn because we're not generating enough power. Uh, one thing I do have to do is get some more frames out. Uh, I want to extend that out. I'm just going to do some scaffolding. So let me do that. Now I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And uh, this one has just gone, gone down, unfortunately. But this is what I got set up for now. This is all I'm going to have. I don't have to fill them in as it was pointed out. Uh, one steel, one iron sheet to get the, uh, the wire frame. And then one more to make it airtight. Now, I don't know if there's actually a floor covering to put on here or if there's actually other variants. Let me. Take my head jet back off for a second. I want to actually see this. No, there is no other variance. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah, it's dark, so I'm going to have to burn some coal. That's fine. Uh, on my excursion around the area, and I've probably covered a good kilometer or so around from here. There's quite a bit of coal. I just never pick it up because uh, that's not what I'm looking for at the time. Uh, there is cobalt and silver in the area if we need it, so that is fine. Uh, so first of all, let's get a battery going. Uh, let's put the, the right belt on. I believe it was in here. 
Yes. Uh, okay, and I guess I can just do that. Uh, you are turned on. Good. Now, the solar panel. Actually, we need to make the battery first. Uh, yeah, I'm also making it in here. Just so I have to worry about it making. Doing one. Uh, oh, we can make the nuclear battery cells in here. Those are the, the large battery cells. They actually need steel, so we'll worry about those soon enough. Uh, so what I'm looking for is battery, I believe. All right, I'll go ahead and let's make two of them just because. Uh, oh yeah, gotta close you. What do we need? Gold, copper, and steel. All right, I have the copper on me, or the gold on me. Let's go stick that in here. Uh, Helps by hold hit, hit hold right mouse button. Gold, copper, and steel. Where did I put that steel? I think the steel's over here still. Yes. And the copper is in one of these machines. I have no idea which one. Uh, let's see. It's going to be in... Oh, this one. Oh. Uh, not anymore, because I was charging a battery, and this is why. Uh, also, too, as far as inventory space goes, uh, I don't know if any, how many of you actually remember that the jumpsuit actually has two storage slots. You get your food in there, but you can actually put anything you want in there. So you can actually have your mining belt inside your, your jumpsuit, if you want. Well, not your mining belt, your tool belt. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, and I'm also looking for copper. Now is it in here? And I think it is. Well, one way to find out. Oh, that was just iron. Okay, that's in this machine then. Apparently not. Where is my copper? Uh, hmm. It's not in there. There's the copper. Okay. Anyway, uh, let me get the batteries banned and I'll be right back. No, they're back now. Uh, I was trying to put a stacker on this and it wasn't working. I don't know if I have to set this up with some sort of drop chute that goes on a conveyor going into a stacker because I know of the chutes and know the different types of conveyors that there, there are. And these don't stack. That's why. Okay, let's turn this off for now. Turn that off, turn that off. We'll worry about the solar panels in a minute. Uh, let's see how big these batteries are. That's basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you know, basically solar power coming in here. Now, I know there is an in and an out. Okay, so the in's going to be here. Uh, I also know too, and I read about this, that you don't want your in and going the out from one battery going in to the in of another battery. Apparently it causes a, a loop or a short circuit or something. So basically what you want is the power coming into the back of all the batteries and then from here going out to the, your APC. Alright, and so of course we get the, the wires connected. Uh, what we can do uh, is we can actually check the seat. Well, no, because I have to stack those. Uh, let me get these connected. I'm going to get some solar panels set up and hopefully I'll be done in the morning. Okay, just crafting the last solar panel now. I extended the platform the other way, uh, not the way behind me because the sun rises in this direction and sets over there. So if I place over the solar panels over there, they're going to be blocked by the whatever monstrosity I decided to build here. Anyway, uh, turn that off. I got to set up some sort of main power system for each machine eventually I'm sure the consoles are what th that's for alright so I was actually going to go and place these over here uh, let's see I have five I want to take this one oh uh, yeah I'm hungry I'll deal with that in a minute okay what do I need to take this off I think it was uh, the grinder I think and it's kind of sucks that you actually have to have a tool in your hand to find out exactly what you need to take apart and let me see. Come on, where are you? Where are you? No. Don't want the iron frame. Uh, 
how I deconstruct you. Because I want to put that outside. Shoot, I know about this. Moving it with the wrench. Yeah, well, then it's probably the grinder. Hmm. The drill. Yeah, is there actually some sort of tool to, that tells me what it's supposed to do? Crowbar? When all else fails, use a crowbar. That's right, let's take the glass out. Uh, and I guess the wrench. Glass still there? No, apparently not. Alright, I'll figure it out. Yeah, it was the drill. Okay, uh. Why are you not stacking? Oh, I guess kits only go to five. Alright, that's fine. I think the the stacker will split them automatically if it can't stack them anymore. Anyway, up we go, and then back down, and I was going to make some more plates to fill that, and yeah. Three of power, yes, three of iron, no. Okay, I am done. And we are charging, which is good. Ooh, that's bright. Ooh, I'm sorry. I really am. I think I just know if you there's a way to tell exactly how much power there is in here. I'm sure there is with the uh, consoles and whatever. Uh wasn't sure what to do about these things. One, I didn't know these actually had batteries on the side. Uh because originally I had uh, an APC here and another one on this side. And then I thought, well maybe I had to put one out outside, so I did. And it's turned off because it ran out of power. Nope. Oh. What is going on here? Let's go change that. I don't know if I need to have one out there or not, but I will just to be case, just in case. Uh, I'll have to set the battery charger again too. That does have power. Uh, do that. Oh yeah, because that's going to drain it from here. That's basically a backup. I don't think it's actually necessary then. Uh, I think it's supposed to control the flow from the solar panels to here. But anyways, what I've done is, uh, this is, according to it, 50% vertical. Uh, I have a wrench in my hand to show you. Uh, so I've changed one 25% vertical, one 75% vertical, or two, I should say. So then that way there's two charging right now at 62%, two at 2%, and two at zero. Uh, these will gather power for quite some time and then by the time these drop down to like 10% this is already like a 50% as you can see it's 70 and 9 so it is going to work out and then when it comes down the other side these will be here uh, batteries we can always make more batteries but as you can see I have moved a few things uh, taken a few things apart so maybe we'll put some stuff down so I think what I want to do now I think I would like to use that constructor if I can. Or uh, fabricator. The problem with the fabricator is... Um, yeah, trying to get the, the stacker on that. In fact, let me look that up. Okay, well apparently there's no actual way to do it. Uh, people just try to catch it on shoots. Or in my case, I'm going to try to catch it on conveyors going into the stacker. Alright, need a hand drill for that. And go back here. Enough battery so oh jeez, I didn't know the thing actually had a battery. Oh, what do you know? Huh. Uh, sure. It'll do for now. Until we can get stuff built again. Oh what? You know what the auto lay takes like twenty different things to be taken apart for it to work. But I can uh, do the fabricator with a hand drill. Go figure. 
Okay, so what I want to do actually is I want to have everything coming out of the, the arc furnace going right into the fabricator. So, why are you not letting me place it? Oh, well, you, you think it would do that. Okay, so, let's actually do it this way. And how far up I want to have it. I can have it right through the wall if I want, but I won't do that. Uh, let's see here. Okay, I'll, I can actually go up to the wall and I will do that. You know what, let's... Yes, I know I'm feeling the farting around with it. Stuff like that bugs me. Where it doesn't line up with the tile that's going on. But I'll place it there. Alright, definitely get some lighting in this place. Okay, so now for the arc furnace. Nope, that's not you. There you are. Arc furnace. Arc furnace, I said. Yeah, just like that. There are no variations. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. I'm doing it this way just because I want to. No other reason than that. Uh, I gotta get some power going here too. The power's in the front. Uh, hmm. I need to check something here. If I have a cable there, can I actually place a conveyor there? I can't. Hmm. Like that, there's a riser. That's cool. <laughs> Why would they have that unless you're supposed to use a chute for it? Which is fine, uh, that'll be fine. Uh, anyway, so I'm gonna have to make some more conveyors, so I will have to get some stuff set up. How expensive is that gonna be? That's gonna be. Only one? Oh, what do you know? This might actually work. Oh, I'll do one short. I hope that's actually going to work. And the best thing is that I think about these conveyors, you can actually switch their, the directions. That That's awesome. Anyway, uh, I need to get some more conveyors made, I guess. So let me do that and I'll be back. Okay, so this is sort of what I got set up right now. Uh, the batteries aren't charging up too fast. We only have six solar panels. Uh, we're gonna have to change that pretty soon. Uh, I'm thinking. I was thinking about the solar array that I'm gonna have, and basically it's just gonna be the same, same way. We're just gonna go across, so another twelve, sixteen, whatever, whatever we can, we can afford. Uh, I definitely will have to do some off-camera mining to make sure that all happens, but we are going smoothly. I got uh, some copper going through right now. Get that going. Um, let's see what we actually have in here. Yeah, we got some iron and copper. And then this is what I'm going to do. Uh, I find that this will s shoot it out exactly to this spot and then sort of bounces forward. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put it on a conveyor, put it to a stacker, and I'll let it go going the right way, we turn that on, I have that set to 50, so let's see, what, what do we have in there, iron and copper, oh, what do we need, besides frames, walls, ceiling, everything else, let's see what we can make here, um, I think my biggest goal right now would be to get this place all filled in, flat wall, Steel, ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, I like that. At least it shows you what you actually need. Okay, what else we got in here? Glass doors. Oh, that sounds fun. Floor grade and furniture. Furniture. Hmm. Now there's a lot of stations too. Like there's a tool manufacturer. Manufacturer. I'd like to get it. Have a look at it eventually. And 
Ah, sorry, did I miss an iron walls or something? Because I know I'm out of iron walls. I want to make some more of those. No, I went past it. Uh, let's go ahead and make 10 of those. 16. Now we'll watch you go to the stacker. Out and in, out and in. And then what I, now I don't know exactly what all there is. Like I'll have to look around and see what there is. The other logistical stuff. What I'd like to have is something where I can feed a whole bunch of stuff into, a, let's say, a hopper or something. I'm sure I could probably do it with shoots, just because of the fact that you have 50 coal in one thing, not necessarily coal, but iron or or whatever. So. I, we could have entities, uh, they don't seem to despawn because that region's been there for <laughs> a little while. Uh, there you go, and it's working. Uh, unfortunately, it tells you what's in there, it just doesn't tell you how many are in there until you pop it out. But that's fine because at least I'm not, I don't have to babysit it. We keep it in there. If I set it to 500, then I'll probably, like I said, I'll probably spit it out at 50, but I'm not making 50, I'm just making this. Yeah, I got it. I do admit I like that. But anyways, I think we're going to call this one here. I'm going to do a lot of off-camera stuff. Uh, see if we get these batteries somewhat charged. I got to hunt down a whole bunch of iron, a whole bunch of copper, a whole bunch of... I'm probably going to need gold just because of these, really, eventually. And, of course, coal, because we'll have to start making steel so we can make other stuff. Uh, and then explore other things that this game has to offer. Anyways, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.